submit an application in this standalone cluster how do we do it okay spark hyphen shell hyphen hyphen master who is the master here the master is not yan the master is standalone master so specify here the master url that's it what is, what is the master url again here this is a master url copy it and paste it here just paste it here see what happens now you can observe sir the master is different now okay now we shall go to it starts successfully it is showing scala prompt here it is start they have started successfully now we shall go to browser and verify just refresh this page can you see the application created here this application id name of the application is spark shell number of ports allotted to this and the memory allotted to this so this is what the state is running user is cloud era this is what we have to do okay to start a standalone standalone cluster we require three steps mainly what is the first step the first step is just let me show you okay to create any cluster standalone cluster the first thing is the first operation is start the master start the master and second step is start the slaves start the slave or slaves slave or slaves we can start only one slave or multiple slaves as we have only one machine we are starting only one slave but in real in real time we have to start multiple slaves then only is called as a cluster right next third step is submit the application submit the application that is very simple okay first to start the master process start the slaves and submit the application to this cluster that's it very simple okay but the problem with this application is this with this cluster is we can run only we can submit or we can run only spark applications in this cluster only spark applications we cannot run mapreduce applications in this cluster we can run only spark applications but what is the advantage of yarn cluster in the yarn cluster we can run <coughs> spark applications as well as what mapreduce applications also both are supported we can run both spark application as well as mapreduce application that's advantage one of the advantages we have with yarn but we don't have that advantage with uh, standard cluster we can run only spark applications is it clear sir okay now well, i will try to show you the differences here just to see the screen yarn and stand alone yarn and stand alone just to make a note of this point sir yarn cluster and stand alone cluster i am showing the comparison between these two okay the master process what is the master process called in yarn cluster it is resource manager it is it is called as standalone master we don't have any special name for it simply we call it as standalone master that's it and what is the slave process in yarn cluster called as node manager and what is the slave process in standalone cluster called as it is called as worker that's it okay what is the master url to submit the spark job spark application we have to specify master url what is master url simply yarn the sit hyphen hyphen master this example this example hyphen hyphen master space yarn this is what we have submitted this is the master url this yarn stand you know it acts as the url similarly what is the master url in standard cluster spark colon double slash okay here it is a host name host name of your machine in this the host name is cloud era quick start cloud era that is showing us quick start cloud era but in general spark colon double slash host name colon 
7077. This is the standalone master URL. So how do we submit? Uh, how do we specify it? Spark shell hyphen hyphen master. The master URL. The master URL is spark colon double slash. Don't type host name in your machine. Otherwise, you can type local host. It will work. Local host colon seven zero double seven. Okay, got the differences between these two, YAN cluster and standalone cluster, right? YAN cluster and standalone cluster. This is what we do. Simply very simple. Okay.